Hey, and welcome to Code Reviews. Today's a short one. We're just going to run through the steps for setting up the local environment and workspace for Angular. And I'm making this video because if your setup's like mine, you'll go through these steps easy peasy and it won't run. Good news is I've solved the problem. The code's all live. I'll link it to you. But let's just look and see what they tell us to do. Some requirements that you need, they say you need Node.js. So I have that installed, great. You want the LTS version, which is the long-term support, whatever it's latest. It says you need the NPM, you can do NPM-B. I have that, awesome. So once you have those two things, you can run this NPM install, the Angular CLI. I've already done that, but you can just put that here and it will install. And once you have the CLI, you can run this command, which is ng new my app. Run ng new my app. And this will just start to, you can pick CSS, no, on server side rendering. And this is starting to create and install just a basic application. Now, going back, if you don't have Node, you can download it here. And like I said, you want the long term support, whatever the latest version is for whatever your system is. And then once you have Node, you can go and get npm installed. All right, so it's still installing here. What it's gonna do is just bring down basically all the files it needs, create the simplest possible Angular application, which is kind of useful for seeing what it does, but it's not really what you would do in production. Regardless of that, if you continue following the steps, it says CD into my app and then run ng serve open. So you'll CD, change directory into my app, okay. Run ng serve open. And this will start that uh, application it had, but it doesn't work. It says this site can't provide a, provide a secure connection. This is because it's trying to open it on HTTPS, but Angular is only running on HTTP. So what do we do from here? Fortunately, I have created a self-signed cert generator. This is in the PJL software organization on GitHub. And you can clone this repo and you can CD into it. Now you can run make, enter, and that works. Or you can just run the generate a self-signed certificate. Now this has a bunch of information that will guide you, echo what's happening. But I've just basically pieced together a lot of commands that I found online that demo for creating a certificate locally. Um, so this one uh, script is running a whole bunch of other stuff. It says, you know, for Mac users, there's some information, but all you have to do is run this and it's generating everything it needs under the hood. So in the self-signed cert generator, there's generated files. You want the root.pem, it says angular demo. That's the, what I named it. You want to always trust it. You have to prove that it's you. Then you can continue. I'm using the same password, abc123, abc123, perfect. So what we have here is a generated files directory. And there are nine files here. Now to run Angular. So this is a stored command we're going to run through for doing SSL. So you need ng serve dash SSL is true. And then you need to provide the SSL cert. So we actually generated this in the self-signed cert generator. So you go to generated files and there's a CRT server.cert. So we provide that and then you need an SSL key. And we can go back to that same self-signed cert generator, generated files. And there you need the server key. And now when you run the ng serve command with SSL true, providing the cert and the key, you can see that it's running on local HTTPS, local host. When you click it, it opens. So if you're following the steps on Angular, 
It may not work for you because your browser enforces HTTPS and out of the box it won't do that. I got you covered. Just check out the self-signed cert generator, run the generate a self-signed certificate script, and this will create the files you need in this same directory, and you can copy them and put them wherever you need. If you want to know what's happening, just check out the help, check out the echo statements that I have. But ultimately, all you need is that SSL cert and that SSL key. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks. Bye.